For the last example, we're going to look at another example with inverse trig functions using inverse sine. And again, we're going to be on a restricted interval. We're on 0 to 2 pi or 0 to approximately 6.28. We're going to solve the equation 6 sine of x minus 2 equals sine of x. First, we solve algebraically. We get 5 sine of x minus 2 equals 0. 5 sine of x equals 2. Sine of x equals 2 fifths. We solve this. We are going to get sine or x equals sine inverse or arc sine of 2 fifths. Use our calculator. I'm going to again use radians. If you're in degrees, you'll get something slightly different. You get x equals 0 0.4115. Now remember, because this is sine, we also have the possible solution of pi minus x, or pi minus theta, which gives me pi minus 0 0.4115. I plug that into my calculator and I find that x is going to be 2.7301. Okay, both of these numbers are inside my interval, so this is good. But let's double check and make sure there aren't any other solutions. So we can have as many 2 pi's as we want to for 0 0.4115 if I were to subtract 2 pi. I would get negative 5.8717. And if I add 2 pi, I get 6.6947. Okay, for 2.7301, if I subtract 2 pi, I get negative 3.5531. And if I added 2 pi to that number, 9.0133. Okay. All four of these new numbers are outside our interval. So the two numbers we want to use are the 0.4115 and 2.01. Thus, our possible angle measures are 0.4115 and 2.7301 radians. That's because those are the only numbers inside of our interval 0 to 2 pi.